Good evening everyone and welcome to a late night edition of Red Light Sports Ramble. Not going to be much scenery for you tonight folks, going to be pitch dark out. Just one of those days, it's like an oh my god day. Just so long and tiring and I'm sure you've all had a day like that. Today was my day like that. So now I'm on my way home. GPS says 2.01 arrival time. That is 2.01 a.m. arrival time. Wow. But I could not go without giving you guys the red light sports ramble on a Monday night. As always, heading home from work. My pleasure. So getting into it, got to give my endorsement out to Fantasy World Order. FWO365.com. This is about the time when fantasy is really heating up, folks. So if you need any hints, any suggestions, if you need to form a new league or get into a new league, check out FWO365.com. Tonight's topic is actually coming from a good friend of mine, Toy. Over the weekend, I was going to do maybe a special ramble, but she threw a topic out and said the good and the bad about preseason football. I think it's a great topic. So I'm going to ramble a little bit about that. Unfortunately, the bad outweighs the good. And so when we look at what is the goal of preseason, is the goal not to prepare our starters for the regular season in September? That is ultimately the goal, correct? Practice, play, prepare. It's the same with any training camp. doesn't matter what sports you're in. Training camp is meant to prepare the starters for the regular season. And honestly, I'm not sure if preseason is doing that anymore. Maybe 10 years ago, there was logic to having a four-game preseason. New quarterbacks coming in, rookies coming in, more time to adjust to systems. But let's get real, fit, folks. Let's face the facts. These college players coming in are now prepared much better. Quarterbacks are playing in pro-style offense. The players are hitting the weight room. They're more athletic. There is more pro-style offense going on in college. Just much better athletes. Four games is way too many. That is my really bad point about preseason. And I'm going to talk about it a little more in depth after I talk about the good. Because the good is, football's back. Got to enjoy having football back. Doesn't matter if it's preseason. This last weekend was great. Our teams are back in action, which means it is football time again. Let's get it going. It's a great time of the year. Doesn't matter if it was game one, the starters only played a uh, series. Doesn't matter. Football is back. The second good point is we get to finally look at our draft picks. We get to look at those guys that are going to be part of this team for hopefully the next four or five years. We get to look at some of the undrafted free agents. That's always fun. Those surprise guys that might make the roster because they just wow you. The long shots, I love the long shot stories. But even then, we don't need four weeks to evaluate the long shots. And then the last thing is just the, the new free agents, the new faces. Whether it be the coaching staff and how is our team going to look? Do they change a scheme? Now, again, in the preseason, 90% of it is vanilla. They're not going to give away anything in the preseason. But it's still fun to watch what's going on with our team. But now, after game one, here's where the bad comes in. Half the players that are going to be playing in these three remaining games are not even going to be on the team come September. So I'm only watching when the starters play. And let's think about this. Game one. One series, maybe two. Game two, a quarter. Game three, they play a half. 
then go into halftime, make some adjustments, and they come out for a series in the third quarter. I don't mind that. I love that. I love watching that game. I usually watch that game all the way to the end also. But then they don't play in game four. So let's add this up. One or two series in game one. A quarter in game two. A half in game three. And maybe one or two series in the third quarter of game three. So I'm not a math major. But if I add that up. That means that our starters who are going to be competing in September and hopefully bring the Lombardi Trophy to our team and our city have only got full participation against an opponent for one game. One game, that's it. But we're spreading it over four games? Doesn't make sense to me. Because as I stated, is the purpose of preseason to prepare? What are we really preparing if we're doing it over four games? Aren't we supposed to be getting them ready for the opening day, opening kickoff? Which means getting them into a routine and into a rhythm to prepare to play? Because they don't even play in game four. Heck, I don't even know why they put their pads on in game four. And then, after that game, they're supposed to flip on the light switch and be ready for game one. Well, as a former athlete, I need to get into a routine. So game four, we're on the sideline joking around, high-fiving, saying, Woo, look at that guy. That guy's not going to make the team. Look how bad he did. Then we get into a normal week after the game. Is that really preparing them the way that we want them prepared for game one? I don't think it is. So let's eliminate game four. Let's get our reviews done in game one and game two. Because really, these coaches know 90% of the roster for September already. And so maybe 10% of that roster, there's some open spots. And granted, there's some quarterback competitions going on. But you don't need four games for it. That's the bad. And I mentioned this in a couple rambles before, being a former athlete. Training camp sucks after about day three. Practice sucks. I want to play games. I want to play when it counts. You know, my story, my first training camp ever, I was so excited. 18-year-old kid, getting in the car, driving to campus, going to meet my new team, going to hang out with the boys. Oh, my God, I couldn't wait for training camp. Got there, did my way in, took my conditioning test, ate dinner with the boys, Oh my God, this is great. Training camp is awesome. Well, then the next day I had to go practice three times a day. Then I had to do it on day two and day three. And guess what? Got really old after day three. Prepare me for the regular season. So let's really think about that. That's the bad thing. Four games in the preseason. And that really outweighs the good. I mean, football's back, don't get me wrong. But man, it's just so long. I'm already itching for September, and they just finished week one. Because like I said, I'm probably not going to watch much except for game three. And you know what? I know people say it's too long because of injuries. But really, a lot of the injuries are happening in practice. It's happening in practice. My biggest thing is, though, that game four, the, the laughing stock game, when the starters don't even play. I mean, I know the argument's going to be, well, there's players that are fighting for a roster spot and they need that game. But that's a crock. 
It really is. Three games would be more than enough to evaluate whether or not they're going to be on the roster. And even if they make the roster, how often are they going to see the team or see the field? Not very much. So with that said, folks, the good is football's back. Can't wait for opening day. And I get to evaluate our draft picks and look at them and say, wow, that's going to be a good pick. Or, man, that guy's got a lot to learn before he can get in the game. But the ultimate bad is it's just so darn long. And it's boring. And it's not preparing our players properly. They're only playing the equivalent of one full game. So let's do something about it. Let's eliminate game four and have three games. I know a lot of people are saying let's just have two games. I'm okay with either way, two or three. Just get rid of game four. There's no need for it. Let's get to some real football. So with that said, folks, hope you had a great day. Hope it was much better than mine. I'm going to get back to driving. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow at the next red light. As always, for your fantasy needs, get to FWO365.com. I'll talk to you tomorrow, folks. As always, my pleasure. Enjoy the night.